In the dark intervening night of the 27th and 28th of April, brave Indian Air Force pilots flew blind in the face of overwhelming odds to rescue 121 stranded Indians in the war-torn Sudan. In an exquisite display of unwavering valor and impeccable operational astuteness, Indian Bravehearts, with no navigational approach aids or fuel, landed on a run-down airstrip at Wadi Sayidna with the help of infrared sensors and night vision goggles. In a narrow time frame, with the engines still running, the commandos on board secured passengers and their luggage and accomplished what seemed like an unattainable task in a span of a few minutes. The swift and efficient operation a part of the Greater Rescue Operation Kaveri to safely evacuate 3,000 Indians from Sudan was just one example of India's commitment to her citizens. The Indian leadership has gone above and beyond the call of duty to protect its citizens in need. Team India, with Prime Minister Modi as the captain, has ensured a collective will to work to keep Indian citizens safe, both home and abroad. Join us as we take a deeper look at India's successful evacuation missions and the policies and people behind them. Even if you are stuck on the Mars, Indian Embassy there will help you. This tweet from India's late former external affairs minister, Sushma Swaraj in 2017, was not merely a reassuring response to a purported distress call, but a display of India's resolve to protect her citizens, no matter which corner of the world they were in. India's actions have been consistent with her statements. India undertook a daring and massive endeavor Operation Kaveri to safely bring back some 3,000 stranded Indians from the conflict-ridden northeastern African country of Sudan. It was not an easy job because uh, Khartoum is much inside uh, and uh, from there and we, I think around Khartoum, in Khartoum there was a lot of violence going on. Mm. Uh, so to rescue Indian community from Khartoum was a problem. Also, there were people spread around in the country, in the country Sudan. So to bring them uh, to Port Sudan from where they could be shifted to Jeddah uh, for eventual evacuation to India, all that was really very tough. The mission was fraught with logistical challenges, potential acts of aggression, and political and communication barriers. But the Resolute Emergency Response Teams, under committed leadership in New Delhi, navigated through all hurdles and successfully brought their brethren back home. موسیقی Time and time again, be it safely evacuating Indian students in Ukraine during the Russia-Ukraine war, providing an immediate way out for Indians in China and other countries during the COVID-induced global lockdowns, or going as far as Yemen or terrorist-held territories in Iraq to evacuate her people. India has demonstrated both her commitment towards her citizens and her capacity to confront a crisis and emerge successful. In 2015, India's Operation Raha, a massive two-pronged large-scale rescue mission, saved over 6,710 individuals, including over 1,962 foreign nationals from the war-torn Yemen. When the deadly COVID pandemic struck the world and forced people into lockdown, the Modi government's Operation Vande Bharat brought back over 6 million Indians from across the globe. 
Hundreds of others were safely evacuated under Operation Ganga as India sprang into action as soon as the Russia-Ukraine conflict intensified. Operation Sukun, Operation Safe Homecoming, Operation Metri, the list goes on. India, which has become even more proactive in the last few years, has always been one of the first responders to reach out to her citizens. India spares no effort as far as shielding her people from harm's way goes. From military and civil aircrafts to ships and road transportation, India mobilizes every resource at its disposal for the protection of her citizens. At the heart of these successful operations, Indian leadership has demonstrated equal levels of assertiveness and responsiveness in rescuing individuals. It was the result of tireless Indian efforts that Indian national Hamid Ansari, who was falsely accused and sentenced to prison by a Pakistani court, was released. Despite diplomatic challenges with India's arch-rival Pakistan, India secured her citizens' release. A law-abiding country, India has approached the International Court of Justice and sought justice for another Indian national, Kulbushan Jadav, who was falsely accused of espionage and sentenced to death by a Pakistani court. India always upholds the law while also ensuring that she utilizes all the available options in the book to ensure that her citizens are never treated unfairly and are never subjected to inconvenience or injustice overseas. While India has used dialogue and diplomacy to secure the releases of individuals who inadvertently entered other countries' territories, like with the many cases in China and Sri Lanka, she has also been assertive and forceful when the usual tactics do not work. One such example was when the Indian Air Force's then wing commander, Abhinandan Vartaman, was held captive by Pakistani forces. Although the details of the diplomatic talks are not available in the public domain, Pakistani leadership, which initially misled Indians about the officer's whereabouts, later acknowledged his presence on their soil and also released him with the status of a prisoner of war. The Pakistani government realized that India is serious, that it will escalate further, so which would have, they would have lost much more in the war game and therefore they returned Abhinandan in the shortest possible time. Such incidents showcase India's unwavering commitment to the safety and well-being of her citizens. Even in the most challenging circumstances, India has protected her people. The government says it is committed to providing all forms of assistance to every Indian, whether he is one of the 1.4 billion people residing within the country, or one of the over 32 million overseas Indians living in different parts of the world. Apart from emergency assistance, India also provides her overseas citizens with legal assistance, consular services, and even financial assistance. People wherever they are, like even in ordinary circumstances, if an Indian is arrested, let us say, or gets stuck in some country or something like that, our embassy uh, seeks consular access, goes and our officers go and meet them wherever they are, they try to provide them legal assistance or any of the social, if they need some food, any, any kind of assistance they need. So this is an ongoing process on a virtually daily basis. Thanks to India's growing diplomatic prowess, Indians are respected globally. The Indian diaspora is a force to be reckoned with and is reaping the benefits of India's growing economic and diplomatic strength. Meanwhile, New Delhi's commitment to her people remains unwavering and goes far beyond India's territorial boundaries.